On June 13, 2021, Barrie police received a complaint of a sexual assault that had taken place that day. As a result of the investigation, 47-year-old Subway restaurant manager, Stephen Lemond was arrested and charged with four counts of sex-related offenses. The first victim who came forward was a 17-year-old girl who was sexually assaulted in the back room of the restaurant. After his arrest, more victims came forward saying they also experienced sexual assault while they were employed at two Subway restaurants located at Minutes Point and another at Young Street and Big Bay Point Road in Barrie between 2013 and 2021. Stevens parents owned the two franchise locations and he managed them both, which have since been sold after Subway Restaurants Canada terminated their franchise agreement. Stephen Lemond was charged with 12 additional charges. In total, six charges of sexual assault, five charges of sexual exploitation, two charges of assault, two charges of inviting a younger person to touch for sexual purpose, and one charge of sexual interference with a person under 16. He was released on bail pending trial. A publication ban protects the names of the complainants, there was a total of six victims, four of them minors, however, several girls recounted their experience in interviews with CTV News in 2021. Those clips will be included in this video. During trial which began in June 2023 Stephen now 49, admitted guilt to six charges related to the sexual assaults. The court also heard that Stephen would brag about knowing dangerous people in motorcycle gangs and that if he wanted someone to go missing, he could make that happen. That level of fear and threats allowed him to continue his assaults as his victims were instilled with fear. The assault of the 17-year-old victim was captured on the restaurant's video surveillance, which was seized by Barry police. It's unclear if the video was actually played in court. On June 13, 2021, Stephen gave the 17-year-old employee a massage in the back of the Young Street store shortly after it opened. He then asked her to lie on the prep table, where he used massage oil on her skin, touching her inappropriately under her clothing, and attempting digital penetration. He paused to deal with a customer and then continued the assault, which lasted a total of 30 minutes. He left the store after the assault, and the employee locked up and called a coworker and her parents to let them know what had happened. Some of his victims had their victim impact statements read before the court, including one teen who read it herself. Prosecutors are asking for an eight-year sentence while Stephen's lawyer, Andrew Perrin asked that his client be sentenced to between five to seven years. Stephen was initially due to receive a sentence August 8, but the proceedings went late and pushed his sentencing to August 25. He agreed to go into custody pending his sentencing which has once again been rescheduled to September 6. What do you think is an appropriate sentence for this child predator? If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like and share the video, and we'll see you in the next one. A few months back, a girl we're calling Sarah was excited to start working at a Southbury subway. Then came texts and Snapchat messages from her manager that had nothing to do with the job. When I wasn't even working, you'd be like, good morning, my hardworking girl, like things like that, say how beautiful I was, how I can get anyone I want. Sarah says there were invites to work out together, to join him at the cottage. You don't really know how to respond because he's your boss. You don't want to like cause an issue, but it's like uncomfortable too. Just recently, Sarah and her boss were opening the store together. That's when she says he started rubbing her shoulders. He needs to see like how fit I am and if I have any like knots in me for the gym because he doesn't want me to get injured. Sarah says he later pushed aside her clothes and assaulted her in a back room. I kind of just went out of it. Like I turned away and I just like kind of closed my eyes and I tried to make up excuses. I'd be like, oh, the bread timer is going off. Can I go get the bread? And he'd be like, no, nope, you stay here. Like I'm doing something nice for you. The ordeal was interrupted, but Sarah felt stuck. A customer did come in and he, I tried to get up to go get it and he actually wanted to go get it. He's like, no, you lay here. And at that point I started thinking like, what can I do to like stop this? I was thinking like, should I just run out the back door or something? Like, then I knew that he may like come for me. Sarah says before her boss left. He kept asking me, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Because he, he knew he could get in trouble. So he said, I'm making these consent forms so no one comes after me. A form Sarah says her boss intended to bring in for her to sign. Now her life is ruled by anxiety and terror. 
she puts furniture in front of our doors at night to barricade them because she's afraid he's going to come back or his people are going to come back. She usually cries all night until daylight and then she can fall asleep because she's so scared of the dark now. Sarah's family is frustrated by how little police are saying about the boss at these two subway shops, one near Young and Big Bay Point and this one at Minette's Point. So the family is speaking now. I really want to appeal to anybody who this has happened to before that it is okay to come forward, that help is available, uh, and that you're not alone. These allegations have not been tested or proven in court. 47-year-old Stephen Lamont faces charges of sexual assault and sexual exploitation. At the home of one of Lamont's sureties, a man says there's misinformation. Fake news. They're harassing people that aren't even at fault. They're scared as hell. It's disgusting. It makes me angry and frustrated and sad. The mother of a girl we're calling Kate is in tears, learning about the months of abuse her daughter allegedly endured from her boss. The man with a hand in running these two subway shops at Manette's Point and near Young and Big Bay Point. It would normally happen every week on Saturday, Sunday. Kate says her boss took a special interest in her dating life and overshared about his own. Very sexual things about any girl he's been with. He'd tell me the stories and he'd be very graphic about it. Kate says eventually her boss began touching her when they were alone in the store. He called it like a massage and he just like massaged my shoulders. Kate says her boss used her workouts to justify the massages. He would say that I'm too tight in this area. But in my head, it didn't make sense because the areas he was touching weren't areas that you work out at the gym. Kate describes when she understood for sure that things had crossed a line. It was under the clothes. And when he made me do things to him, it wasn't a massage because I was doing it to him too. Kate says she kept the alleged abuse secret, frightened by things her boss said regularly to staff around the shop. He would just tell me stories about how him and his friends can kill people or um, make people disappear. And Kate says her boss presented her with a piece of paper. He wrote something about consent on it and then made me sign it. And he told me, he's like, I can't get in trouble for this now. As Kate speaks, her mother tries to swallow sobs. <laughs> the idea that, that somebody hurts your child in any way, but especially in this way. These allegations have not been tested or proven in court. 47-year-old Stephen Lamond faces charges of sexual assault and sexual exploitation in connection with Kate and another complainant and assault regarding a third complainant. In a statement, Subway Restaurant says, we are committed to providing a safe environment for all employees and guests, and any breach of these standards is taken very seriously. Subway promises to support the police investigation and to take necessary action up to terminating the franchise agreements. Kate wants to encourage survivors of sexual assaults everywhere to share their stories. No matter what the person's telling you. I, but I know what it's like, though, to not say anything, because I know what it's like to be manipulated. This is a shirtless Stephen Lamond, the now former manager of two Subway restaurants in Barrie, pleaded guilty today to six counts of sex crimes, including sexual assault and sexual exploitation of six victims, four of whom were under the age of 18 when they say Lamond put his hands on them and sexually assaulted them while at work between 2013 and his arrest in June of 2021. That's when two young women whose identities we have concealed spoke with CTV News coming forward to share their stories of being sexually victimized by their boss. I turned away and I just like kind of closed my eyes and I tried to make up excuses. I'd be like, oh, the bread timer is going off. Can I go get the bread? And he'd be like, nope, you stay here. Like I'm doing something nice for you. It was under the clothes. And when he made me do things to him, it wasn't a massage because I was doing it to him too. Lamont now 49, pleading guilty in a Barry courtroom, had been facing more than a dozen charges spanning about a decade and involved several girls who worked at Subway restaurants 
Lamont's parents owned and he managed. A customer did come in and he, I tried to get up to go get it and he actually went to go get it. He's like, no, you lay here. And at that point I started thinking like, what can I do to like stop this? I was thinking like, should I just run out the back door or something? Like, then I knew that he may like come for me. Following his arrest, the fast food company forced Lamont's family to sell its two Berry franchise locations, where his victims say he touched them sexually and offered them massages, handing both young women a piece of paper telling them to sign it. He wrote something about consent on it and then made me sign it. And he told me, he's like, I can't get in trouble for this now. Lamont pleaded guilty to assault along with invitation to sexual touching of a young person while in a position of trust or authority. Convicted pedophile Stephen Lamond walked into the Barry Courthouse with family by his side today, two months after pleading guilty to sex crimes, including sexual assault and exploitation of six victims, four of whom were under the age of 18 when they worked for him at Subway restaurants his family owned and Lamond managed. The court heard today from several victims and their families who delivered victim impact statements and described Lamont putting his hands on his victims in the back of his restaurant, offering them massages and touching their breasts, buttocks and genitals. The victims described a pain, anxiety, torture and fear they experience to this day. One victim telling the court, I'm in fear to live in a world where you walk freely. She described suffering panic attacks and several suicide attempts saying Lamond robbed her of her innocence, her future, and her joy to live. One family member of a victim reading to the court, she was a child and you stole her innocence. This man is a monster. He was sexually terrorizing these girls. Another victim described Lamond placing his hands under her clothes, touching her genitals and telling her to touch his. She told the court, all I wanted to do was go home and shower because I felt gross. Afraid to tell her family what happened, she said, I was scared no one would believe me. Several victims described Lamont telling them not to tell anyone and warn them he knew dangerous people who could hurt them if they did. Lamont also gave some victims consent forms to sign. Lamont, who needed the help of a walker to get into the courthouse, turns 50 in October. Lamont listened on as victims in the Crown recounted a history of sexual assault of girls and young women who worked for him from 2013 until July of 2021 when he was arrested. He pleaded guilty to six counts in June. The Crown asked Lamont be sentenced to eight years behind bars, submitting to Justice Edward Carlton. Make no mistake, Your Honor, Mr. Lamont is a predator, a child predator, and a coward, adding he targeted young women from a position of authority as their boss. A gross violation of what should have been a stepping stone in a child's search for independence. Lamont's lawyer asked Justice Carlton to consider a sentence range between five and seven years. Following today's hearing, Lamond was placed in handcuffs, loaded onto a wheelchair and taken into custody off to jail. His sentencing is scheduled for later this month.